In today's video, you will learn how to use Neve's custom layouts module to create a single page layout. Let's start by going to the WordPress dashboard. Now let's hover over appearance and we'll go to custom layouts. Now let's click on add new. Let's choose templates. And for type, we are going to select single page. And we can also name this single page. And we'll click on create custom layout. Now, once we are in the editor, we'll go to the custom layout settings on the right hand side. Just make sure you're in the custom layouts tab and let's move to conditional logic. We need to select post type. The next option will be is equal to and the final option will be pages. All right. So here we have the available magic tags for this rule that we just configured. All right. So let's go ahead and add a cover block to start building our template. We're just going to add a cover and let's use an image from our media library. Let's use this one. We'll click select. And I'm just going to make some edits to this cover. Let's remove the paragraph block. Now let's go ahead and add a new block. Now we are going to use the advanced heading block, but just so you know, you could use any of these blocks to build your template. It could be whatever you want. So once we've added the heading, we can go back to the list view and let's move the advanced heading to the inside of the cover block. All right. So that looks fine so far. Let's go ahead and style the advanced heading. We'll just move it to the center first and we'll make this an H1. All right, now let's go ahead and style the cover. We are gonna go ahead and add an overlay. So we'll click on this and make it dark blue. Let's also increase the overlay opacity to about 80. All right, that looks good. Now let's go back to our list of magic tags. Let's go ahead and click on show more. Now let's copy current single title and paste it in the cover. So we'll just copy it and paste it right here. Okay, let's go ahead and add one more. Maybe we can use current post meta. So we'll go to the end of this heading. We'll press enter to create a paragraph. We'll paste it and we'll just center it as well. Now let's go ahead and style this block. Let's go to the block settings over on the right hand side. Now let's go to style and change the text color. All right. So at this point, we can go ahead and publish our custom layout so we can test it to see how it looks on a page. I'll just right click on this W and click on open in a new tab. Now let's visit the website. All right, so here we have our custom layout on our homepage. And if we go to our contact section, we'll see that we have two headers being used at the same time. Same for the about page. Now to fix this, we need to go to the customizer. And from the customizer, we are going to go to our layout settings. We'll go to page and we'll change the header layout to normal. So basically this removes the default header, which in our case was the cover. So let's publish this page and also notice that we don't have any page content, just a header and the footer. So we'll go back to our editor and we need to add our page content block. Well, it's actually called post content. All right. So it's right here at the top. So once it's added, we can go ahead and update our page. All right. So I'll go back to the website and I'm going to refresh this page. And now we can see our header with our page content at the bottom. Now, if we go to the contact page, we can see that it looks perfect as well. We have our header and the page content. But if we go to home, we have both the header and a hero section, and this doesn't look good. So to fix it, we'll need to go back to the editor and we'll go to our custom layout settings. Now in our conditional logic, we need to make a few changes. So we need to add some conditions to our rule, but we don't want to click on add new rule group. So let's remove this. And instead we are going to click on this plus icon all the way in the corner. Pay attention to this end. Now let's proceed with our configuration. So our layout will be displayed if our post type is equal to pages and page type is not equal to front page. Let's update. Let's go back to our website. We'll refresh. We have our custom header on about, and it's no longer being displayed on the front page. All right. So now you know how to create a single page layout. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one. See you next time.